Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. If I remember correctly, we're going back to Aya to get that vault taken care of. Vault orbit is steady. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. She knows how to play to a crowd. <laughs> She's the most high. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. We have a lot to celebrate. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. The sooner I learn what's special about that place, the faster I can fix Eos. Then get on with it. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jal has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me.
brought anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is, what's different? Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. The Archon is a menace, and I've had it with being lorded over. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there.
just returned from a kept prison. I deserve to be told. You had no right to keep it secret from me. It's an ongoing investigation. I meant no disrespect. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. Sorry to interrupt. This isn't your concern. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her, a resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I need the relic that leads to Meridian, and I can handle my people. Let me do this. I don't like it. I don't care. The Pathfinder is right. I'll transmit my files on Kadara port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done.
Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... a surprise? What are their expectations? They survived the Scourge and the Ket, and rebuilt their civilization. Don't forget it. Appeal to their pride. Sensible. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here.
Why can't you just ask her yourself? Because. Because? Just because. Fine. Lexi, PB wants to look at Charles Gare. PB knows I can't divulge patient information. <sighs> Useless. Pathfinder, you have new email. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's... complicated, Subi.
telling you, my name is on that list. I received the call off this end. Trade? Trade. Trade. Are you asking or telling? I'm wondering. Do you exchange goods and services? How does your economy work? We pay for things with a currency called credits. Abstract wealth. The cat offered gifts. Made odd bargains. Never traded. What are your credits worth? What can we do with them? You pay them to us for whatever we're selling. Now we cut open the heart. What do you offer? I don't know. What do you want? Your ship. Not for sale. Worth a try. Is there something else I can do for you? Yes. Call me Soka. I run cargo between Aya and other worlds. Good work. Good at it. You're here to help my people. Prove it. I need help. One of my suppliers off-world stopped checking in. Has things I need. There could be trouble. You're one of few people here willing to give me a chance. I'll take it. You have a ship? I have my supplier's nav point. His name is Kelvo. Find him, his supplies. Come back and prove you're helpful. Then maybe we trade. When you have a moment, we should... Pathfinder, this is a tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies, navigating the Scourge to find Aya. Incredible. The odds were against us, that's for sure. Yet here we are, strangers from different galaxies conversing in friendship. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief Phoneron. It's a privilege to meet you. Tell me about yourself. I'm something of a pathfinder myself. I am a celestial observer, charting the movements of stars, planets, and the Scourge. An astronomer? You know the safe routes out there? We deploy satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but Nothing's been found. Your Tempest is highly advanced. I hoped you could aid our search. Even Pathfinders need a good map. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide search nav points. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Pathfinder. 
it would be wise. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again, least of all thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renarv. I enforce correct contact between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the Governor's office and the Resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. Visit me for all your day-to-day -day needs. Pathfinder, I'm Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from I's people. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you'd take a look and forward their communications to your people. Getting acquainted with our new neighbors? Sort of. All this... stuff. The Angara sure do have a rich culture and blah blah blah. You're sauced, aren't you? What's your poison? Achcha! I visited that cafe the Angara consider a bar. As for their hardest stuff, it was weird, which I like, but had almost no... <clears throat> punch. <laughs> Lightweight. Whoa. Steady now. That stuff must have a slow absorption rate. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, writer. It's just... This museum reminds me of being on Haitiana during my indentured service as a student. They even have a whole section on the remnant. I didn't come to Andromeda to follow in someone else's footsteps. It didn't occur to you there'd be indigenous species here? Sentience with a rich history leading full lives? I guess. Even so... The Angara barely have a foothold. Sure, they live among the ruins, but they haven't seen what we've already seen. Hmm. You might have a point there. Bet nobody here has ever outrun an ancient vault purification field, huh? Nope. Or spat in that Archon's ugly mug and lived to talk about it? That was nice work, by the way. 
Thank you. Ah, you're right. Not sure why, but ever since I packed up my apartment on the Nexus, something's crawled under my skin. But whatever it is, I promise, I'll get over it lickety-split. You're fine, PB. We all need to cut loose once in a while. You're very understanding. And attractive. Nice combination. <laughs> Think I'll stay in your operation a little while longer. Hello, Pathfinder. Stars above! It's you! I was hoping to get a chance to speak with you. You left your home to cross dark space. Is it true you can never go back? Yeah. This is home now. To take such a risk and give up your old life, why did you do it? I couldn't resist the adventure of a lifetime. I know the feeling. There's a rush in taking a chance and hoping for the best. My turn for a question. Do I get to know your name? Oh, of course. I'm Avela Kajar, curator for the Repository of History. We study relics of our past, try to piece together what we lost in the Scourge. And, the truth is, there was something I wanted to talk to you about. Pathfinder, how much do you know about our history? The Cat hit your people pretty hard, right? They did. But long before that, the Scourge destroyed our technology, first targeting our ships. Many of those ships went down over Havaral. The wilds of that planet are filled with history. A scientist on Havaral just contacted me with a new nav point of an intact crash site. A huge opportunity. But with Remnant patrolling the area, we can't get close enough. Not like you can. So you want me to go? I know it's a lot to ask, but you have a ship and the means to get past the Remnant. Without your help, I'm stuck. I've always wanted to give archaeology a try. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. If you find anything, I'll be here. Thank you, Pathfinder. You are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Maybe I should introduce myself. Hello there. I'm working. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger? I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my homeworld. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? I have a scanner too. Seems only fair you let me go first. That's ridiculous. It's my final offer. You're bold, Pathfinder. All right. Scan me. Angar and skeletal structure, muscular formation, and organs are optimal for thriving in harsh environments. As previously discovered, they can also generate and discharge bioelectrical energy. All done. You're interesting. So are you. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? 
I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. materials for us the science for you Arbiter Renath told me to expect you. I've prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. Coming. 
I've prepared a data pad on our laws regarding war. Learn them. Drac said he wants to talk to you. Read the mission briefs. This isn't good, Ryder. The Archon's dangerous. I've seen people like him before. He's definitely dangerous. So dangerous, I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him. Take him out. All we need is a plan. From where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. There's better ways to stop him than brute force. Maybe, but I'm not gonna let an enemy get close enough to pry my plates open and go for the soft kill. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. We'll only get one real chance at him, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. up something.
Mobile Way. Getting a scan. According to that astronomer on Aya, a satellite should be here. I'm not detecting anything. If it was here, it's gone. You mean destroyed? I mean, gone. Destruction would leave debris. We've got nothing. Let's try another nav point. looks mostly unexplored. It was charted. Once. Then the scourge happened. What's old is new. Anomaly on sensors. Deploying probe. Getting a scan. up something. Probes launched. Getting a scan. You're sure that astronomer's nav points are correct? He seemed to think so. There's nothing out here. The Scourge didn't swallow a satellite whole. You can't do that, right? I'll let you know. Let's check other nav points. Anomaly detected. Probes launched. Satellite detected. up something. Probe away. Anomaly found.
forget how small we are. I'm picking up something. Deploying probe. Anomaly found. Let me guess. No Wingaran satellite? No, but I've got something else. Message buoy from an Angaran ship. They came here looking and didn't find anything either. Left a marker for us. Must be the team our astronomer sent. They headed to a new nav point. We should join the party. Anomaly on sensors. Probe away. I found something. Stand by. I'm cutting through heavy interference from the Scourge. We are pretty close for comfort. Something's drifting just inside. And Garn ship. In pieces. No life signs. Who did this? Cat? I found the ship's log, scanning and downloading. Scavengers. The Angara caught them stealing satellites. The scavs fought back, and the Angara collided with the Scourge. Can we find the scavengers? I have their ship's transponder ID. It's registered out of Kadara port. Well, I was going to Kandara anyway. I guess that's where I'll go next. I don't have a lot of other leads anyhow. So, off we go. Hope you enjoyed this. Like and observe. <laughs>